I think the problem we may see before the summit is of over high expectations. You have all these leaders converging on London um, with, I think, expectations now perhaps they will come up with some great master plan to save the world financial system and to prevent such a crisis happening again. Now, that I think we can be sure won't happen. We have a new US administration that hasn't quite worked out where it is on all these issues. We have 20 odd countries with divergent interests with different analyses sometimes. So I think the success or rather otherwise of the summit will have to be judged not on whether there's a detailed communique or sort of setting out plans for a new Bretton Woods, but on the sort of, po the sort of political chemistry. You know, are the Americans and the Chinese, two, the, two very big players for example, talking on the same wavelength? Have the Europeans got their act together? Is Mr. Sarkozy in France as adamant in opposing protectionism, for example, as Gordon Brown uh, says he is in the UK? So I think that sense of cohesion or otherwise will be the test of the summit. Um, I think some of the working groups of the summit are already lagging behind. So I think it's, 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 it's a question of the political chemistry of the event rather than the detailed blueprints. And of course, some people are already talking about another summit, another G20, later in the year, which perhaps would translate political will